Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we will be making some yummy pumpkins, um, some shabby chic um, stuffed pumpkins. So get your coffee, get your tea, and get your fabric, and let's sit down together and make these. Okay, so let's begin. So this is uh, some chenille fabric uh, on this pumpkin. And um, I just think they're absolutely adorable. And it's made with um, yarn. And then this one is done with um, like a dusty mauve velvet. It is so beautiful. I wish you could feel it. And I've made a couple more too. Let me show you. But we're going to make one this size. And uh, one just like this. So here's a black one that I've made with black velvet and it's pretty big. It won't even fit in the camera with a gold bow. This one's for my daughter and um, she's going to place this on her bed and um, she'll, she'll enjoy it. But anyways, um, and then here's another one that I've made. She's going to put this one on her bed too. This one's a bigger one. This one measures... Mm, 17 inches wide and 14 inches tall how how the width and height that I cut the fabric to so this one's this one's really you know this one's pretty big but I just wanted to share this with you so let's make these pumpkins so I have some more chenille fabric here and um, these are so much fun to make um, just Let's see, I want to make sure you, everybody can see this because they're, they're really fun to make. Okay, let me, okay. So here we are. So here's the chenille fabric. And this one measures, I think, 12 inches. Yes, 12 inches across and nine inches high okay so yeah that's yeah that's what i have written down it is storming here today heavy rain and thunderstorms i don't know if you guys can hear the rain the pouring down rain but it's i love the rain so i hope that you all are doing well and um let's begin okay so you want to take the fabric and turn it inside out. Now you can take two pieces of fabric but you'll have to sew both the ends. I'm trying to save some time so I've folded my fabric so it's a lot you know a lot easier. So let's begin by sewing together the sides. So we want to sew these pretty tight and I've also um, I've also um, I've also um, threaded a, a few needles to save some time on this video so it's not just super long. So let's begin. Let's see. So you want to, you don't want to start at the top. You want to start, you know, about a half an inch down or so. So let's start sewing. And you want to sew it pretty tight, okay? doesn't have to be perfect either. That's why it's shabby chic. This fabric um, I got from an antique store and um, I got this from a, an antique store and it was a king size comforter and um, it's just falling apart so I'm trying to use it up with you know everything and making everything with it so I hope everybody is doing well and um, this will be um, fun I hope that you make one if, if anyone makes one um, go to the description box and um, you'll see my email 
and send me a picture of your shabby chic or just your fabric pumpkin. I would like to see them. That'd be so so nice to see your pumpkins. I can't believe it's fall already. I mean, wow, time is flying by fast. Okay, see, so it's not it's not perfect by no means, but it's being sewed, so we're going to close it up pretty tight because we don't want any fluff to come out of the pumpkin, right? It's kind of hard to sew around a tripod. But it's okay, we're doing it. Okay, so I'm going to finish sewing this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewed it. I kind of messed up right here, but it's okay. I've sewed it. Okay, so keep your fabric turned inside out still. And we're going to, remember, we didn't sew all the way to the top on either end, okay? Because you need that, you need that, you'll see. Now we're going to cross stitch. I'm going to do this up close so you can see. Let me um, make a knot in my, in my thread. Boy, it's pouring down rain. Okay, so we're going to cross stitch. And you don't want to do it at the very top either, okay? So I put it in about right there, about a half an inch down, and we're going to cross stitch. So just watch. Pull the needle through. Just in case somebody doesn't know how to cross stitch, it's pretty easy. Just follow, just follow me. Turn on this video and just follow me. So see how I'm taking the fabric and, you know. You'll get a hang of it. It took me a little while too. But then it turned into a hobby and it's so relaxing and um, I really enjoy sewing, hand sewing. I love um, using a sewing machine too. My husband just bought me a pink sewing machine and I'll have to show you in the next video because I'm going to be working on some more things in the next video. But um, thank you for everyone who are subscribed. Um, you guys are, I, I love you guys so much and um, you all are an inspiration to me. I'm very thankful to have you as friends and a subscriber. And um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I will be doing a giveaway soon for Christmas. And I'll be giving away some lovely things. So it'll be more than one giveaway too. Time for giving. So I'm so thankful for you. And God bless you all. And please subscribe if you haven't. Okay, so let's get back to this. So now... See, we cross-stitched the whole top, or bottom, it doesn't matter, and pulled tight, but not too tight, okay? I kind of put my finger in there because you need some space. You need some space for this because we're going to put a crochet needle through the pumpkin to make a pumpkin. So you'll see in just a minute. So those are really cheap. I picked mine up at... Walmart for like a dollar and 22 cents. Okay, so we need to leave a little bit of space open right here, okay? I have no idea why my camera is so blurry. Okay, so now we're going to close it up. I wonder if you guys can hear the rain. 
<laughs> I'm usually scared to death of thunderstorms. Lord's keeping me busy. Doing this with you guys, okay. So we're gonna close that up. Remember there's a little space. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger, but it's okay. We're gonna seal everything up. And we're gonna cut the thread. That's probably enough to do the top too. Let me go ahead and knot this needle up real fast. Mm, no, it doesn't look like enough. So I have this one. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to turn it right side out. So now we've turned it right side out. Just bring that there. And before we stuff it, but I'm going to show you what kind of stuffing I use. I use poly, poly fiber, poly fill, the original poly fill. And I get this at Hobby Lobby or um, Walmart. And that's what I stuff all my sachets and, you know, yummy stuff, yummy shabby chic stuff. We're going to stuff it in just a second. This is so fun. So now we're going to cross stitch the top. So again, or the bottom, it doesn't matter. We haven't chose one yet. So now we're going to do the same thing. So I hope you can see that. Just do this with me. We'll, we'll do this together. This is so fun. I hope y'all can hear the, um, the rain because it sounds so pretty. I mean, it's pouring down. So relaxing. Thank you, Jesus, for the relaxing rain while I make this video. Okay, and then we want to come, okay, see my needle is on this side. So now we want to come to this side and bring it here. Okay, so it's closed up. Perfect, right? So I'm going to put my needle right in there. And now we're going to open it back up gently. Now we're going to start filling it up, okay? So Remember, this one is 12 inches wide by 9 inches high. And you could use a big sewing needle. Sorry about bumping that. You could use a big snow, snowing <laughs> sewing needle, but I, I prefer to use a smaller one for the stitching and then the crochet needle to actually make the pumpkin. Gosh, it is pouring down rain. Okay, let's check on the thickness of this pumpkin. Oh, that is so cute. It's already so cute. Look at that. Look at the faded colors. It's so old. I think that might be full enough. Maybe a little bit more. I like mine really full because the pumpkins look better if they're really full. Let's just put a little bit more in there. I mean, you could even do this for, um, like, making snowmen or snow ladies for Christmas, too. Same thing. Okay, now remember, you don't want to close up the hole all the way. Kind of move that fluffy around. Because we need that to put 
I'm missing something. Anyways, I'll go get it in just a second. Let's see, let's close this up. So here's the closure right here. So let's tie it up. Leave an open space. And we want to close this up, okay? getting stuck on that little chenille. So it, it's been really hot here, but that's why we're getting all these storms today because it's, there's a cold front coming through and it's going to feel just like fall. Yay, yay for pumpkin spice and sweater weather. So excited about it. Okay, let's close it up. Tie a knot. There we are. Now it's closed up. Trim, trim that off. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I had to run and get some felt. Um, this is even has sticky on the back. But I will show you what the felt is for in just a couple of minutes. Right now, let's, let's um, get our yarn. Now, you don't want to cut the yarn. You want to leave the yarn in a yarn ball or just like the way I have it. Um, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so um, you want to pull a good amount out. And it depends on how big your pumpkin is because you can make these in all different sizes. Small, medium, large. This one's medium. You know, it's, it's a nice size. So that looks like enough yarn to make my pumpkin lines. Do not cut it. Leave it leave it on here. I'm sorry about the lighting. It is thunderstorming and it's getting darker, but it's okay. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so I wish y'all one one of y'all can hold this for me. <laughs> hmm. So now you want to tie your yarn onto your crochet needle and tie it in a good tight knot. Okay. And um, okay. So now it doesn't matter which one's the top or bottom just yet. It doesn't matter. And we can fluff this beautiful thing up. Oh shabby chic yumminess. See this foot the hole's a little bit bigger but it's okay it's all right so I might use that to pull it in okay so watch closely do not cut your yarn you want to put your crochet needle through the pumpkin through that hole and come out the opposite end and pull it all the way through okay and then you want to do the same thing until your pumpkin is finished so again same place you go in the same place and come out the same place and then if you get confused use this little trick the end that is attached to the yarn ball is back here will always stay back here okay so there's our first line and pull tight okay pull tight so there's the first line Okay, so then go in on the same side, same side, and come out the same side. Okay, and then you want to put your crochet needle down and kind of move this around and pull tight. Can you see that, guys? I wish I could do this live. And pull tight. 
a little tight. Okay, remember this end is attached to this so you don't get confused because trust me, <laughs> I had to do this a bunch of times going, what on earth? So this is the easiest way that I can teach you. Okay, so then you want to guide your yarn to make, and don't make it perfect, and pull it tight. Oh, look at that. Pumpkin is coming. So fun. Okay. okay. So then we want to pull that through. And we want to make a line. So the last line was right there. So there's the seam that we sewed. I'm just going to put this right over it and pull tight. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're going to do the same thing. Oh gosh, it's so dark. And pull tight. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's beautiful. Look, we're almost done. And then you pull through here again. Kind of work it around and Pull tight, kind of fluff it up, and remember this is in the back, okay, attached to the yarn. It is so dark, I'm so sorry about the lighting. Okay, so we're just going to keep going. Looks like you can see. <laughs> oh, you know what? We are done. Okay, so we're going to pull tight on both ends. Okay, and we're going to take a look at everything. Let me see if I can. Okay. So you want to pull on both ends pretty tight and go ahead and cut and go ahead and cut. Leave a little extra yarn. I, I always do. I've been making these for a couple years now and uh, they it works better like this. Okay. See the little pumpkin turning out pretty cute. Oh, fluffy. All right, now, um, now here comes the felt. Now I've I've warmed up my um, glue, my hot glue, and I'm going to cut this felt into a circle. Now this one's kind of big, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. That doesn't look very good though, does it? That looks good. Let's do that right there. Gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> I got a little bit of light. And if I turn on the overhead light, it makes it worse. I don't know why. Okay, so I took the sticker part off of the back of this. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the yarn and we're just going to put it in the little hole there. You're going to take your very hot glue and um, 
we're just going to fill up the hole. Just go ahead and have fun with that glue. Feels good to, to use that much glue. Because <laughs> most of the time I don't use that much. But for this, you have to. Okay, so we're going to let that, we're going to let that just sit for a minute and we're going to do the other side. We're going to do the same thing here. So we're just going to put the yarn right there. Okay. And we're going to cut another circle. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect either because it gets covered up with all your yummy, all your yummy decorations on your pumpkin. Okay, so we wanna do this again. Fill it up with hot glue. Okay. And then you put that on there. I got a little bit oozing there, but I will wipe that off in just a second. Okay, now we are going to um, okay, I have some yummy laces and fabrics and some pearls, I figure. Um, okay, so let's make our stem. So I have this pink felt. I think that's going to be too tall. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. And then we're going to roll it loose, don't roll it tight. That looks about good, so we're gonna glue that there. I try not to use much glue, but you have to use a lot of glue on these pumpkins. And then I have this shabby f fabric. I don't need all this, so I'm going to cut some of this. I'm going to say, let's cut this. And it's about, you know, about that size. And then you want to take the ends and you want to just shabby it. Okay. And then you want to take your stem and about right there. Can you see that? And then we're going to start rolling it up. And it doesn't matter what color fabric or anything that you use. And you want a little bit at the top. And I'll show you in just a second what we're going to do with that. So we're going to go ahead and um, use a little bit of glue here. And then, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a little bit of felt on the bottom to give me extra secure there. And then I'm going to put this in there. And then I'm going to glue this to the pumpkin. Okay, so now we're going to glue it right here. So, and it doesn't matter what top or bottom you use for this pumpkin. Getting a little brighter. You kind of mash it down in there. Okay, like that. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Aren't these cute? I love making these. They're so fun. I give them to family and friends and neighbors. 
um, every year. Okay, so then you wanna take the fabric and kind of just like put it in the hole. If it stays, if it doesn't, that's okay too. So that's what makes it shabby. Gosh, it is pouring down. Okay, so, so there's the stem there. Cute, right? Okay, so now let's um, decorate it. So I have some of these laces. Let's um, let's maybe just play around here. Let's see. And put that there. I love lace. I want I want to make a lace. Um, I want to make a lace um, pumpkin next. Let's see. Do you hear the thunder? <laughs> and then that there. And see, you cover. I covered up the. Well, there's a little bit of felt here, but let's move some lace over there. Let's put a little bit of glue here to cover up the felt. I'm going to secure the pearls right there. Oops. I hate when I burn my finger. I burned it so bad the other week it left a blister. But that's alright. Okay, and then we're going to put some glue here. And I have a flower. A crocheted flower that I've sewn um, a pearl into it. See, I've sewn a pearl into it. And I'm gonna put it right there where I put the glue. So I hope that you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love for you to subscribe and um, I'm very grateful for you and here's my shabby pumpkin I hope that you like this video and that you give it a try and um, go to my description box to find my email and if you make a pumpkin please take a picture and send it to me in the email I'm gonna fix that top I don't know why it won't stay down but could put a little bit of glue in there. Just a little bit. There. That'll stay down. But see? All shabby yumminess. So I hope that uh, you like this and give it a try. So thank you for watching and have a lovely day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.